to the Zarenscape Twitch channel, where we are playing Cyberpunk Red out on a limb. Now, in the uh, break, you would have had your secret password to enter the competition for a digital and physical copy of Cyberpunk Red and your subscription to Sirenscape. Now, uh, hang on to that. Don't pop it into chat yet. You'll need to uh, wait until the end. I'll let you know when you can do that. Uh, and unfortunately, it is US only, so bear that in mind. Um, but uh, uh, good luck to everyone who's uh, going to enter for that prize. So when we left uh, before the break, uh, Strife and Nero were just arriving at uh, Nix's clinic, Cyberware Clinic, on the 43rd floor in Concord Medical Center. Now, as you arrive... Uh, there are a bunch of patients waiting here, and uh, Nix is setting up to open the back of a woman's skull on in her operating room. Uh, so um, it's a small clinic. You can basically see all of it uh, as you come in. So um, uh, you can uh, uh, greet them and direct them as you like, uh, Nix, uh, as they come in. You currently have um a patient with um uh, uh a malfunctioning arm with nerve blockers which is going to wear off soon soon ish uh, a, a blind fellow in his 50s your patient who you're working on um and then you have a uh a rather detached uh looking young man uh who has a black cat with him who arrived a short time ago um and uh uh, as you arrive, uh, uh, you two, uh, someone is being uh, wheeled in in a on a gurney because their uh, legs, their cyber legs, are uh, convulsing and uh, are kicking uh, out uh, randomly. So the people who are bringing them in, the two of their friends, are kind of having to duck out of the way. Mm. What do you do when your friends arrive? Um, Nix is kind of as the chaos is like going on. Uh, Nix is kind of like a calm voice that just kind of cuts over the top of it. So like Nix is there like getting ready to, you know, cut open a woman's head essentially. Um, mm -hmm. And is like really calm about it, just setting things up and like directing um, Nero and Strife uh, to uh, Nero um, can go to uh, the person with the um, cybernetic legs that are malfunctioning. Um, because they seem to be like the most 
like you'll probably f basically like to try and find the source of what the problem is there and maybe see if you can then find a kind of pattern that is repeating itself in all of these texts um and the same for um strife as well um because i feel bad that i left the guy who like was there a moment ago i'll like direct strife in like his direction and be like could you oh, the, the jack okay the... yeah the jack <laughs> <of our laughs> guy. Mm -hmm. yeah Okay, so uh, Nero, you've been directed to um, a 30-odd woman who is uh, on a, uh, a gurney. She has two cyber legs uh, mm -hmm. and they have uh, grip feet. Um, one of those grip feet seems to have um, a, uh, a little bit of blood on it. Interesting. Oh, who, the, who the fuck are you? Are you, are you, are you a med tech? If I does the answer actually matter? Oh okay. no! As long as you can fucking help me, would you fucking do something already? Jesus, fuck you! People are useless. Are are you Mrs. Fuck you? Is that mm -hmm. you're everywhere today? Uh, let me see what my I name can is. Do. Crux, okay? Mm. Who the fuck are you? Well, call me Problem, so we can get to the crux of the problem. Just lay down oh. as flat as you can. This is really fucking funny. I and thought so. Kicks. It was for me. Uh, the leg uh, kicks out. Can you give me an evasion roll, please? Yes, I can. I'm really good at evasion. Uh, 17. Yeah, so you definitely uh, duck out the way of uh, a grip foot that would have uh, latched onto your arm if you were any slower. Um, and uh, you can perhaps surmise that uh, someone else in this person's life was not quite as quick. Excellent. Okay, so there is still good amount of function and control. Let's see what else we can uh, do. I didn't do that, you fucking idiot. I got no control and it hurts like hell. It's like legs are on fire. I'm talking to the legs, not you. And then I'm going to try to, like, see if I can connect to the legs somehow, like with my interface cables or anything. Um, so uh, this person does not have uh, uh, an interface, and these are okay. fairly um, basic cyber legs. Uh, looking over them, though, you can see that they are uh, IEC uh, uh, branded cyber legs. Uh, do you want to give me a deduction? Sure. Gladly. Uh, where is, what is deduction under? Ah, okay. Education. Let's see. That's a 15. Excellent. Um, so you also notice that they have a medical grade cyber hand uh, that is branded uh, Rocklin uh, and is totally fine. It's totally normal. It's just gripping onto the sides of the bed. Um, you also note that um, this, this problem with their limbs is kind of similar to the first patient who is patiently waiting with their um, their disabled arm hanging limply. And uh, you could follow the same treatment regimen uh, for them, either some uh, uh, pain relief, some nerve blockers, or uh, with uh, Cybertech, you could uh, disconnect their legs entirely. Uh, let's let's try to Cybertech so that they at least have a bit of reprieve and then we can we can try to correct it. Okay, so disconnecting someone's cyber legs while they are kicking about is going to be pretty difficult. Uh, so you, you might need to administer some sort of uh, uh, blocker, uh, okay. nerve blocker first. Or it yeah. you can still attempt it, but it will be more difficult. Nah, nah. If we have the resources, let's use them. So let's put in a nerve blocker okay. first. Okay, so um, uh, this is a uh, paramedic role. Mm-hmm. Uh, to do so uh, and uh, if uh, Nyx can help you if they have a second to spare uh, which would uh, lower the DV for this uh, you're you're muted sorry I'm so sorry um, <laughs> Nyx, um, Nyx will shout like directions um, if, if, you know, like, uh, if, um, Nero or Strife ask, like, <laughs> she'll be there, like, doing surgery, but also shouting directions for a completely different procedure, happily. Perfect. Excellent. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, make me a paramedic role, which would be off your okay. technical ability. And any points you have in paramedic, if you do have them. Yes. Uh, so that's a 13 total. 
Excellent. Uh, wouldn't have made it unless you had help from Nix. So uh, we, at, at uh, Nix's direction, you uh, place the nerve blockers around the legs, giving you time to work to uh, disable the uh, legs when you can. So you need to make a cyber tech check for me. Uh, and this is going to take you uh, about an hour to get in there and fully disconnect the legs from, this, from the nervous system. All right. And as, as I'm doing this, I'm just going to look at them. So what brings you here? <laughs> uh, that's an 18. <laughs> Excellent. So you, you, you more than make it. Uh, so you, um, because you can more than make it, you, um, you, you have experience with cyberware, you, uh, you know what it's about and you're really just doing, uh, not a full uninstall, but like a disconnection for them. And so you can chat away to them. Um, you, you quickly notice that this person is, uh, uh, very combative, even when the pain starts to diminish, they are, um, pretty uh, uh pretty doubtful of your ability to actually get the job done they uh, don't think that you're actually a med tech uh so they uh they they're telling you to hurry the fuck up and uh, get the hell on with it so um what do you how do you how do you approach that situation uh they're probably gonna try to hit me again so i'm gonna let them like actively let them get one good punch <laughs> there's a bit of satisfaction there just a all right, there. Is that better? Actually, yeah, that is that's actually way better. Uh, uh, thanks, thanks. Yeah. Happy to help. Yeah, well, just... could you actually do the legs now? Hmm. Consider it done. Nice to meet you, My real name is Nero. Ah, uh, well, th thanks. I fucking guess. First, I was sick for two days after I got this fucking hand, and then, god damn it, this. Are my legs going to work after this? I'm not going to lie and say yes, but I will tell you I'm good at this. Oh. Trust me. Or trust them. I'm not like nudge towards uh, Nyx. Well, she sees, they seem to be telling you what to do, so I hope they know what they're doing. <laughs> Nyx just gives uh, Nero a thumbs up from where she's working yeah, on this. Yeah, yeah. See? <laughs> see? <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't mean to. See? We're fine. <laughs> uh, so, Strife, you uh, <laughs> approach a um, uh, the, the the first fellow who is uh, Beetle, his name is. Uh, he's cradling his inoperable uh, cyber arm. Um and uh, he he's just sort of sitting on a chair, kind of nervously watching the chaos, uh, growing chaos unfold around him. So it stopped doing the, the twitching and everything? So uh, as you speak to him, it, it the nerve black blockers are just starting to wear off and the first kind of twitches are starting to come back. And he, he's grimacing slightly by them, but the, the full pain hasn't come back yet. Um, is he, and he's sitting or is he laying down? He's sitting at the moment. Um, I'm going to actually, um, put a hand against his shoulder to kind of keep him still. Mm-hmm. Do you mind if I scan and see if I can figure out the problem with your cyberware? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, everyone's, uh, everyone's having problems. Maybe if you can figure it out, it'll help everyone else too. Well, Go for your life. You're the only one not actively trying to stab or kick anyone, so. Oh, uh, Horace seems okay. He's just blind. Mm. Uh, yeah. uh, do, do, do your thing. Uh, do you want to make a cyber tech check for me? Yeah, I was going to have Invictus do the same, do a diagnostic on him, but yes. Um, cyber oh, tech. Oh, excellent. Well, the two of you can do it together, yeah. So Invictus doesn't have your cyberware knowledge, but he can um, he can sort of partner you through it. Okay, so is that cybertech under technique skills? Yes. All right. So uh, do I? So silly question. Do I do two roles then? One for me, one for Invictus. Uh, no, it's more of a flavor thing that in Invictus okay. will will help you collate the data and and keep it stored for you. Gotcha. Uh, 18. Excellent. 
Um, so uh, as you're scanning him over, uh, you uh, see that he has the um, the cyber arm that is malfunctioning is an IEC brand. It's a medical grade cyber arm, no extras. Um, and he has a Rocklin uh, bio monitor in his arm, which is uh, functioning fine. His heart rate's pretty high. Um, uh, his O2 sats are fine, and, but the bio monitor on the inside of his arm is functioning as normal. Uh, but you, you do surmise that the signals coming from his cyber arm are completely scrambled. They're just not interfacing with his nervous system properly. Mm. And is it the whole arm as a cyber arm? Yes, from the shoulder. Something God, in... it's kicking back up again. Ah. Um, I, I, I'm holding him back in the chair. Yeah. So your signals are getting crossed. I can do one of two things. I could not yeah. do Or I could take off your arm. Uh, well, I, 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 you, you see the pain that she was in? That That's the pain I was in earlier. So uh, whatever you got to do. Off. Well, don't cut it off. Jesus Christ. You, it's you're a, just going to saw it off? Well, no, I wouldn't just saw it off. I'm not... What do you think this is? A, a random bone clinic? I have well, a very I don't fine... Know. I have a very fine it's katana. Mechanic. It's the cleanest cut. Okay, well, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll have to get a new arm, but uh, as long as this doesn't cause me to go screaming in pain, then sure, take the thing off. Um. So if I, if I pull up his sleeve, do I see basically where I could like kind of just pull it off almost like a doll or would I actually have to cut it off? So you, so you need to remove it. So uh, you can, certain arms do have uh, quick change mounts. This does not have one. Uh, uh, removing an, um, the arm is not as, uh, as slow as installing it, which would be a few hours. This is just an hour to remove the arm safely. Uh, you are disconnecting it from his nervous system. Okay. All right. Um, would that be under paramedic or cybertech again? Cybertech. All right. That is 15. I can do math. 15. Uh, so that is not quite enough. Oh, no. Uh, so um, as you uh, get about half an hour into the process, you... Um, strike a nerve quite literally uh, and as you're about to sever one of the connection the guy goes screaming and convulsing uh with the worst pain he's he's ever experienced in his life he uh, if you were working on him while he's sitting he's now on the floor and he's uh, flailing and screaming in pain uh can i just try to knock him out <laughs> or i yell uh, hypo i need a hypo uh nix do you, you uh, have time to uh, uh, direct... Nyx has time to direct you to a hypo uh, as they are orchestrating everything that's happening in the clinic. Maybe you could chuck one over, perhaps? Uh, yeah. Um, I like to think that... Um, so, so, like, can the agent, like... Can I have it, like, interact with things? Say, like, have you ever seen, like, a certain chemists, they have those, like, unlockable shelving units? but like you have to put yes. in like a pin code. If my agent could do that and it just like opens a drawer and it's just full of high yes. codes. Yes. Sure, yeah, yeah. So a drawer pops open near you, uh, Strife, uh, with a, an array of hypos there. Okay. It's, even, um, it's even neatly labeled hypos. <laughs> <laughs> so give me a first aid roll. Oh boy. That I guy is gonna... Yeah. I I look in that direction, and as Nix is putting, say, yelling orders, I start putting away my stun gun. <laughs> uh, Eighteen. That was a much better roll. Excellent. Yes. Yeah, so you 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 hit him with the hypo, uh, and um, he he's now sedated on the floor. Um, the arm slowly uh, twitches to stillness, um, and uh, you'll you'll have to uh, begin again uh, if you want to uh, remove that arm before he. He wakes up. Uh, now, another roll or just for flavor? I'm just starting over. Yeah, you're starting over. You lost half an hour. Okay. All right. Um, then I'm going to roll again. Hopefully my dice are still good to me. Not quite. 
14. Oh dear. Yeah, so the um uh you again you are trying to disconnect the arm and this time he doesn't he doesn't wake up because he's he's unconscious, but you again you go to disconnect something and the arm just absolutely starts flailing and moving nearly smacks you in the face as the as the uh, signals get totally scrambled up and down the arm and and there's there's, there's there's nothing you can do to work on it because it's it's flailing wildly um can i hold his arm down and then just you know i didn't want it to come to this but just katana it off uh <laughs> Yes, you can. I love can. this game. <laughs> okay, there are rules for this. Um, Wait, what? Oh, it's it's dramatic. It's dramatic. Oh, it's it's interesting. Let me have a look. Um, That's a thing. It's in it's in cyberware or is it in? Uh, it's my sword. Trauma. I mean, it's uh, a cut. It's a katana. Yes. Um, give me a. Oh no, it's inside. Wait, hang on. Oh, there's the katana coming out. Everyone else in the in the uh, clinic, uh, kind of, if they can see, uh, unlike Horace who can't see, uh, he looks placid. Uh, even. Twitch, who doesn't seem to have uh, uh, given any emotions, uh, just simply uh, pulls his cat a little bit tighter to him and raises an eyebrow. Um, it's a medical clinic. It's a big knife. Yep. Yep. And uh, you're going to swing it. Uh, so. You are so lucky Nix can't see this right now and Nix is busy. You are so lucky. <laughs> My clinic. I'm trying to help him. Strife just pulled, that's not a scalpel. This is a scalpel. <laughs> you know what? Like, at that point, Nero definitely looks at Crux and is like, see, aren't you glad you got me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got a point. You got a point. <laughs> she has the point. Give me, give, just give me, give me a, give me a cyberware roll again, because you know, you need that to know where to cut. Oh, God. Please, dice, be good to me. Maybe maybe some luck might be a good idea oh, here. That's so much better. Uh, that is a that is a dirty twenty. Yeah, you basically stand on the arm to keep it in place, line it up, and just boom, cut it off. Uh, Hi, man. Hi, Wilhelm. How are you? Your agent says uh, you may want to get a coagulant to uh, stop the bleeding there before uh, you're, you lose the patient entirely. Oh yeah, yeah. I, um, I I do the necessary medical things. Although it's such a clean cut, no, because it's not a laser katana. It wouldn't. Come no, out. no. Dag nab it. I should have gone for that. Um, augment my katana before next week. Yeah, get it, get it heated up. Uh, yes, I will. Uh, I will do the co get coagulant and tie off the wound and stuff like that, and look for a so like some kind of soldering iron. Excellent! You now have a lovely uh, IEC uh, uh, cyber arm that has been uh, removed from the patient. I'm now, armed. While this chaos is going on, uh, I'd like to uh, nip back down to our resident rocker boy. So you're back in heaven today. And the news of this crisis is spreading fast through um, uh, through through the uh, uh, dreamland, which is the internal data pool in heaven. So um, you're quite a popular person here, where you perform under Muse, and you have a bit of a fan base. Uh, do you like to spend time with your fans? Would you be hanging out with people today, or are you a bit of a, a, a loner and only interact with people when you play shows? Um, definitely, like, she has the, she can interact, but she'd rather say hi from afar and then go back home, really. She has to deal with a lot of stuff. Okay, so you, you, you have a more of a, an aloof uh, persona. Um, yeah, at least with the fans. When I'm with people, I know it's different. 
Yes. Okay. So uh, you would have uh, had a, a few people. You, data. The data pool here will tell people when um, when when you're around, um, and uh, you, you you may have the odd person come, like you know, knock on your door and uh, ask when you're playing the next kind of show. But they know that you like to keep keep separate. Can you tell me about your living space here here in heaven? Do you have uh, do you in Boomtown? Do you have uh, somewhere private on a different floor? No, I think it would be, she's not going to remove herself completely because that's what she is when she is Olympia. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it would be, I want to say that she would actually try to position it closer to say where Strife's shop is. Mm. Um, and when she, when she goes into her room, it's completely different from the posh surroundings that Aubrey puts her in mm -hmm. it's just covered in old record like pictures and everything else like old vinyl from opera performances back into the 1950s she's just got them plastered up on her wall almost like mm -hmm. with the thumbtacks it's like a college dorm room she didn't even try to put them up nicely yeah. um and her wardrobe is is quite different here in heaven as well um, so she wears a jacket that comes down just past her knees that's black and long sleeved. It has a hood that comes up and running through it are blue and green LEDs that she can turn on and off. And her cuffs have treble clefts on them. And then she has the leggings and over the knee boots also with the LED strips running. And she has uh, blue lights braided into her hair at this point. She totally changed in the back of the limo, like every theater kid has done at least once. Excellent, yeah. excellent. So, um, you, there's a, 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 a crisis going on um, within uh, heaven to do with malfunctioning cyberware, um, and um, you uh, have a recorded conversation uh, from from last night. Are you uh, looking to do anything with that conversation? Yes. Um, actually, given the chatter that she would have been hearing, mm. um, I think she would have liked to replay it to herself multiple times and maybe see if she can start to put two and two together. Excellent. Um, make, yeah. make a deduction roll for me. Deduction is under, okay, the education. Okay, dog, I really need that arm, thanks. Uh, that is uh, 16. Nice. Yeah. Beats it by one. Lovely. <gasps> yes. And this is not a meets a beats it. You have to beat it. Okay. Uh, so uh, listening back to it and, and, and passing the corporate speak, um, the things that, ha that, that uh, stick out to you is this idea of a public beta. The idea that something is being tested on the public by Rocklin. And um, Darvo said that he built a data scraper to collect uh, incidents of adverse reactions. Okay. So um, at that point, I think she'd flip her hood up, which is her only concession to please don't talk to me right now. Mm -hmm. um, and she would make her way to the medical unit where I'd kind of like to think she arrives just as Strife is cutting off the arm because that would be hilarious. Yes, excellent. <laughs> you see the, the katanas overhead and down it comes. Uh, you've got uh, uh, Nero sparring with an aggressive woman while he deactivates her legs and um there's uh <laughs> there's nix with someone's skull butterflied open in front of you um these these are your colleagues a, a loose family of friends who are uh, desperately in a uh a crisis management mode and uh you arrive uh rocker boy with uh, a little bit of insight so how do you approach the situation um, well, she would walk in, see the the arm come off, do like a double, like a blink, like, mm-hmm. Uh, look over at Nero, who is both angering and pacifying a, a screaming woman. Um, that's standard. 
Um, <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah, Nix, who's just got somebody's skull open. Oh, so it's uh, Tuesday then. Okay, so... <laughs> um, excuse me, uh, fine colleagues. Um, once you're done uh, dismembering people, do any of these people have Rocklin implants? Uh, Nick mm. kind of ignores you saying that and straight away just goes dismembering. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what's that working? Uh, you look down, and yes, there is a dismembered arm, uh, a small pool of blood that has been quickly cut off uh, mm -hmm. by the quick acting uh, strife. Um, but uh, make a concentration roll for me. Okay. Um, concentration. Uh, okay. uh, that is a 13. <clears throat> uh, yes, so the person you are working on uh, definitely has a Brooklyn. Um, you are working on uh, proxy, uh, and they have a, a cyber audio in their skull, uh, which which is kind of adjacent to the part you're working on uh, and is functional. Yeah. Okay. Um, then this whole time, like, Nyx has been... Um, because when you do brain surgery, you can't knock a person straight out. Um, <laughs> you damage. So um, this whole time, like, you know... Nix has been holding a kind of one-sided uh, conversation with Proxy, just kind of generally talking um, to keep Proxy calm um, as possible. So, um, yeah, but uh, this is probably the only time that they pause in order to say that, yeah, it's a Rocklin augment. And then right. uh, Horace, the the the, the uh, fifty year old, uh, currently blind man, uh, he uh, he he pops up. Uh, uh, my hands are rocking, a uh, rocking tool hand, and he retracts one of the fingers, and a screwdriver comes out. And doing fine. Oh, that's a new model. Yeah, I got it last week, about five mm. days ago. She turn Ooh. and look at Nero. And how's your friend? Have you set up your first date yet? Are you, what are we, who are we talking about exactly? Are we talking about the legs? No, that's weird. I mean, I don't think you just date the legs. I, just, I <laughs> took you for more of a butt man, but honestly. Hey, they all go to the same place. That's true. <laughs> Does she have a Rocklin? Uh, do the legs that have been trying to beat me up have uh, a Rocklin stamp on them at all? No, they're IEC, but as I, as you noted before in your excellent uh, deduction diagnosis role, uh, they have a medical grade cyber hand with the Rockland, oh. which is gripping the edges of the um, of the gurney as you work and is unaffected. Oh, yes, yes, they do. I hate that. Right. Um, strife. Strife. Yes. <laughs> Strife will look up from finishing knitting an unconscious mm -hmm. man's arm yeah. back together quickly with a medical device. Olympia uh, will, yeah, bend over and pick up the cyber arm. I, th I think you dropped something. No, I. That's where I let it. Oh, it's supposed to go. Okay, she just drops it back on the floor with, uh, I assume, a very loud clang. Um, does he have any Rockland cyberware? That arm probably is. I mean, it, I believe this was Nix's first patient. Uh, so a, a, a concentration from, from you, feed of memory, please, uh, Strife. Oh, all right then. Um, memory. Yeah, so it's a concentration role. Anything that covers memory is covered by concentration. Okay, I'm just trying to see what that is, what my extra is. There we go. Uh, that is 10. Uh, yeah, the, the, it's got a Rockland biomonitor. Still functioning, still reading uh, now, a, a, a nice steady heart rate. Yeah, because uh, Invictus uh, did that when, when he ran diagnostic, yep. so I wouldn't I feel like I'd know that anyway, even without a Yeah, that's why it was only a 9. Ah. Yeah. 
it's a very stressful situation that you're in. So things like that can slip through, it's possible. But you uh, do remember that, yeah, he's got a biomonitor in his arm. It's a Rockland brand and it is still working. So um, all of you have working Rockland parts. Uh, you can answer if you like, ma'am. I know that your head is a bit tetchy. Um, all of you have Rockland parts, but uh, they're working fine. Huh. Oh, friends, I've got a conversation you need to hear. Can I wait? I've got an arm on the ground. I mean, is it getting better? No, but I'd like to at least make sure this person doesn't bleed to death. If you must, I'll go. I'm kind of, I'm kind of an asshole, but I'm not that much of an asshole, you know. <laughs> she'll uh, she'll head back to like one of the waiting room chairs, and she'll just kind of lean back in it, like very calmly, um, and just wait, you know. So you end up sitting Anytime. across from uh, Twitch. Twitch is uh, a fellow who lives in Boontown. Um, he is extremely solitary uh, and uh, is known mainly for his uh, propensity for uh, synth coke and shooting corpse in the head. He uh, is currently calmly uh, sitting amongst the chaos around him with his black cat, Null, nestled in his uh, uh, Rocklin cyber arm. Um, his uh, subdermal grip and uh, one of his eyes. Uh, so his subdermal grip is is kind of twitching slightly, uh, and his eye is um, one of his eyes is a cyber eye, and it is um, uh, uh, changing focus, and the pupil is opening and closing quite rapidly. None of this seems to to really bother him. He's just sort of observing, and uh, as you sit down, he he says, "Oh, news." Hello. Having a good day? Well, uh, better than these folk, I guess. Uh, you're guessing it's the Rocklands that we had implanted last week? Oh, I'm sure I didn't actually say that. Well, uh, it seems to be what you're getting at. Didn't these all come from that one fixer? She would put both feet on the ground and lean forward. Is the cat friendly? Does she know this cat? Uh, yeah, Null, Null is friendly. Uh, Null is uh, aloof, much like uh, her owner. Okay. So she'll kind of reach out and do the thing like right under the chin that the cat's like. And What fix her? Um, you know her. Uh, you hooked her up with Heaven. Uh, Kitty Kicks. He runs the the sex ed that vaudeville joint out of the uh, the 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 old school downtown. I see. So uh, the Olympia introduced this person to heaven. Yeah, they're a fellow performer. Oh, you didn't good. do this particular deal with the cybernetics, but this fixer um, did deliver a batch of cybernetics five days ago that were all Rocklands. Um, she uh, would look extremely displeased even to somebody whose eye is malfunctioning as much as his is. Um, when did you get your uh, your Rockland arm then? Well, I just fancied an upgrade. So when they uh, brought him in, I signed up for a new arm. Just looking at getting some uh, some options added to it. So yeah, I had it put in straight away five days ago. And uh, his name is Twitch. Days. His name's Twitch. His name's said? Twitch. Yeah. Twitch. Twitch. Yeah. Um, Ironically, because he's always very, very still. Mm. So, um, Tom, it's Twitch, isn't it? That's right. Right. Yes. Um, your cat's meowing. Is is it okay? Um. Not to be offensive in any manner, but um, difficult to quite... offend me. <laughs> these are quite expensive pieces of cyberware, and I wasn't aware that you had that kind of cash. Mm. 
there's a pretty big market for being able to pop someone's melon from two blocks away. I do, do all right. have a point. That's always a business practice that will be in demand. That's right. Um, heaven here, we you know they don't charge through the uh, through the nose for uh, for for wear. I mean, well, we have to compensate for anything that's outside of medical grade. But uh, you know, we, the reason I like it here is they just want to help people out. Uh, this stuff is more of a personal project. Oh, it's, how much, if you don't mind me asking, of course, how much did it run you? Uh, the arm before options is about 500 eddies. Uh, the things I'm going to put in there are probably going to cost more, but hmm. looks like it's my only functioning piece of cyberware now. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, um, hopefully it stays functioning. I imagine it might be very difficult in your line of work. Yeah, well, my targeting scope is out now. Uh, mm. My bio monitor's broken. Uh, my audio suite's working, and my subdermal grip tells me that uh, my sniper rifle, which is uh, locked in its case, uh, is currently full of ammo. And oh uh, yeah, I just fired three more shots. Mm. Ow! Ow! So yeah, I think it may uh, it may affect my uh, efficacy in my line of work. Mm, I'm yes. hoping Nix can uh, do a fix, but uh, uh, as you can see, uh, uh, there's a few more people I regard as being slightly more needy than myself right now. Hmm. Yeah, this is all very new tech. I haven't seen any of this out of, uh, well, anywhere. Yeah, uh, new stuff on the market. Funny that it hit the black market before the actual stores first, huh? I'm that starting to think that may be a little point. bit suspicious. Well, you and I are thinking alike, my friend. Well, it's your contact. Maybe you can take your friends and uh, go see Kitty when this all dies down. Oh, don't worry. I think Kitty is going to be enjoying a visit from me very soon. Give her, uh, give her my greetings, especially if I can't get this fixed. Hmm. It'll get taken care of. Now, Nix, I would like you to we'll come back to you. We, I want you to uh, actually roll your surgery roll because I forgot to do this earlier, and we'll mm -hmm. see how Proxy does with your intervention. Uh, give me your surgery roll, please. And uh, I will again hint that uh, at the end, here as we come to the end of the session, it might be a good time to use any of that luck you have uh, banked up. I shan't remind you next time. <laughs> uh, you are muted. So I'm just looking for the surgery thing. Um... So surgery is a technical skill uh, and is double the amount of points that you put in it from your specialty. Uh, okay. Um, so I believe that should be four plus your technical ability plus D10. Plus technical ability plus D10. Um, sorry, I'm just looking. <laughs> I can't see it anywhere on my okay. sheet. Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's not a standard skill. It's one you have through being a med tech. Okay. And so... as you. Uh, you should have four, I believe. You took two points in surgery uh, yeah. specialization, which gives you four points in the skill. Okay. Um, and then is it just add that to a D10? And your technical ability, yeah. And any luck you have spent. So plus 10, that's 22. Yeah, 20, 22. Excellent. So uh, over the next few hours, you... Uh, while working on uh, a, a patient's brain uh, here in your element, you deftly uh, uh, direct your your colleagues, uh, Nero and Strife, uh, to um, uh, deal with the patients that that uh, come in. Um, uh, Twitch and Horace will uh, quietly observe the proceedings, uh, but finally you disconnect the uh, the last 
connection from uh, the neural uplink and um, the a wave of relaxation goes through this uh, proxy's body and it is clear that the um, the disturbance that has happened to them is uh, 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 finally abated. Uh, you can remove the neural uh, interface and put them back together. And uh, by the time evening comes on, the worst of the crisis is over. And um, those people who have uh, have uh, less life-threatening or painful malfunctions, have their cyberware deactivated, and um, the crisis slowly comes to an end. Um, and uh, by the by, the evening you have no more uh, active patients, but a, a number of people recovering in your your dim recovery area, probably far more than you've had in any recent time. Uh, in their recuperating, either unconscious or or simply uh, gathering their thoughts about them. The uh, you are, have you are able to confirm uh, Muse's suspicions that each of these people does indeed have a Rocklin. Um, with more time to investigate you may be able to surmise some uh, further clues and get to the bottom of the exact nature of the uh, malfunctions but that will have to wait for next week um i'll just say that like as that's happening uh nick's like she they they'll look at like the the biometer in the arm it's also a rocklin one and just kind of sigh and like they pull their legs up in their chair a little bit um and just kind of like rest their forehead on their knees and just sigh really deep it's been a long long day and uh, you have done some good today but uh, you haven't managed to uh, uh bring anyone's cyberware back into operation you have merely uh stemmed the immediate crisis and um as you'll come to see when we come back, uh, this crisis isn't simply uh, confined to heaven. Um, and there's others out there in the city as uh, reports start to come in over City Nats to your agents, which is a development we will explore when we return to Out on the Limb next time. Thank you so much to all of you to the players to everyone who joined us today now is the time if you know the secret the uh passphrase to enter it in chat for a a chance to win those prizes uh so i will sign off i've been phil or scruff and uh, if you'd like to say your farewells as well tanya you are muted <laughs> Uh, this is why I subscribed to Kelly, so I can have a mute emote. Hi, yep. I'm, I'm Tanya, Cypher of Tear. Uh, you can find me everywhere on the internet as Cypher of Tear. Obviously here Thursday nights for Cyberpunk Red. And then uh, starting next Sunday, you can come back to Rivals of Waterdeep for uh, our ninth season. As uh, I rotate out of the DM's chair and Matia uh, Jaquise hops in. So yeah, find me here, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram on occasion. And uh, say hi, be nice, tell us how we did this week. Excellent. And Gabe. Hi, I'm Gabe, Gabe James Games, uh, pretty much across the internet. Uh, you can find me on Mondays on the D&D &D Twitch channel uh, at some time of the day, because time is hard, uh, playing through Rum of the Frost Maiden. Wednesdays on Pisces channel, playing through uh, Adventures in Otari. And then now you can find me here on Thursdays, which will be fantastic playing with this delightfully chaotic crew of people. So much fun. Excellent. <clears throat> uh, and Sarah. Hi, uh, I'm Sarah. You can find me on Twitter at MustangsArt. Um, I do a lot of disability advocacy in the tabletop role-playing game sphere. Um, I currently also work for Artelsorian Games on The Witcher. Um, and yeah, you can check out my work uh, on Twitter um, and you'll 
also um, probably know that uh, recently one of my D&D characters, Talon, was mm -hmm. put into Idle Champions, the first wheelchair using character in an officially licensed D&D game, which is wonderful. Um, so yeah, please, please check those out. Um, and thank you. And Kelly. Hello, I am Kelly. Pretty much the opera geek everywhere. Fine beverages are sold. Oh God, buddy. Um, this is Scotty. He likes to hang out. Um, so yes, you can find me actually on Wandering DM's channel on Mondays playing Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, where I'm very definitely a, a wizard, not a sorcerer, which <laughs> I do get wrong every week. <laughs> and um, I do also stream on my channel. I'm currently doing a playthrough of uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War, um, which is pretty fun and is just me basically yelling at a lot of people. Um, other than that, you can find me here. You can also contact me or see any of my work through my website, through my Twitter, YouTube, all that. You can find all those links on the Twitters at The Opera Geek. Excellent. Thank you so much. As I said, I'm Phil at Scruff, S-K-K-R-U-F. I'm part of Baby Beard Media, which is at Baby Beard Media. Uh, we do actual play podcasts with a different season, uh, uh, with different game every season, uh, with a brand new soundtrack as well. We also do Let's Plays on our YouTube channel. Just search for Baby Beard Media. You'll find us everywhere. A massive thank you to Wandering DM for running the show behind the scenes and to Sirenscape and Art Alsorian Games for putting this all together. We hope you come back for next week for Out on a Limb. Bye. Oh, wait. Sorry. <laughs> we have a winner. <laughs> Before we leave, I'd like to announce that Gear Goyle is our winner. You win the digital and physical copy of Cyberpunk Red as well as the Sirenscape uh, subscription. Please contact wandering uh, underscore DM at wandering underscore DM on Twitter to receive your prize. And we'll be doing the exact same giveaway next week. So make sure you come back for another chance to win it. See you guys.